let your mind go. Everything will be all right. I will take care of everything. I checked you. Your organism is functioning normally. I'm not a doctor, but everything seems fine. I have a really strange feeling in my head. Are you? The mistress already contacted you. We need to go. Come, child. Do not be afraid. You look like a scared animal. Do I look that terrifying to you? That's how it should be. I am the mother of all, the one who protects, the one who shows the way, the one who knows. I am the elder and the last goddess of mantides. My name is Oria. In our language, this means the eternal mother. I'm sorry, child, that it was me who initiated our meeting and not you. But don't be afraid. I will do you no harm. I helped you and your friends open up your minds. One of my children is inside your head right now. A fly? You call this species enslavers. We call them Danak. Only a great goddess can give birth to Danak. Not me. Take care of your Danak. And keep it secret. Ktal. Life. I want to live, and I want my children to live, though not here. I want Mantides to leave Aelion. Don't be Luke. There is only one way to leave Aelion. I need a skyboat, a ship which sails among the stars. Or maybe you just don't know. You are like guests in your own home. There is an ancient ship on Aelion. I know it. Because I was here when the ships took off and landed back on Aelion. If I get them, we will leave Aelion for good. So... Will you help me?
You will help me. Harden. Good. This is how we begin. I am shocked and confused. It is as if I can see the world from a different perspective. I was so eager to be able to look into the past. But what I could never fathom was, who would give me an opportunity? This is astounding. Hard to believe that at this moment, Aurea is the most ancient creature on Aelion. Yes, I believe we can. We can definitely make peace between our races. I think we should get to know each other. Why does my head hurt so much when I think about it? Looks that way. All Aurea wants is for her own race to be safe. Like any good mother. Well, like any good insect-like mother who is also as ancient as the world. Absolutely. But you can't blame the Aelionians, either. It's difficult to connect with someone who can't speak, but also wants to bite your head off. There's a bit of a mental disconnect there. How are you feeling, by the way? Good to hear. We have a lot of work to do. Mistress Aurea... Hold on. Did I just call her mistress? Where did that come from? Really? Yes, I think that's true. Mistress Aurea confided her plan to me. There's much to do, which is exciting. We'll talk details later, when my head stops spinning. Donehope Glacier is a mysterious place. You have neglected it, and now it's swarming with rats. But that's not what matters. Donehope Glacier is a sarcophagus with an ancient immortal locked inside it. I need him, and you will bring him to me. Ah, oh, don't be a zoop. I'm more than a thousand years old. I've seen a lot, and I remember a lot. Like places where Eli used to confine those who needed to reflect upon their deeds. He was somehow involved with the starships. I don't know why. I don't know everything. You will soon have the chance to ask him yourself. Whatever you see, don't be surprised. And don't worry about anything. Your clever friend will help you find the exact place. <laughs> 